Hello. We're thrilled to introduce Neuralink's Prime study, the first clinical trial of a groundbreaking experimental device that could help transform the lives of people with paralysis. Imagine the joy of connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. This is made possible by placing a small, cosmetically invisible implant in a part of your brain that plans movements. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking about moving. No wires or physical movement are required. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth with breaking news on Neuralink, an Elon Musk company that just had their first ever brain chip implanted into human beings. And, you know, here's what I would imagine the first human would sound like after receiving the procedure and attempting to speak for the very first time. Beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer in this refiner. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. On X, Musk said, the first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. And here he is giving a presentation on how they were able to do this with monkeys. Here you can see uh, Sake, it's one of our other monkeys, uh, typing on a keyboard. But now he's, it, this is telepathic typing. So to be clear, this is the, the He's not actually using a keyboard. He's moving a, a, the cursor with his mind uh, to the highlighted key. Now, now technically, um, uh, we can't, can't actually spell and... Uh, <laughs> so I don't want to oversell this thing. But what's really cool here is, is um, Sake the monkey is moving the mouse cursor using just his mind, moving the cursor around to the highlighted key and then spelling out what we, uh, you know, what we want, what we want to spell. But um, and then, uh, so so this this is uh, something that could be used for, for somebody who's who's say uh, 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 quadriplegic or tetraplegic uh, human. Um, even before we make the the, the spinal cord stuff work, uh, is being able to con uh, control a mouse cursor, control a phone. Um, and we, we're, we're confident that you, that uh, someone who is has basically no other interface to the outside world would be able to uh, control their phone better than someone who has working hands. I think it's also important to show that um, Sake actually likes doing the demo, um, and is not like strapped to the chair or anything. <laughs> so uh, it, it's uh, yeah. So. Um, the monkeys actually enjoy doing the demos because they and, and they get the banana smoothie and it's kind of a fun game. So, um, oh, we, I, I guess what I'm trying to make is like we care a great deal about animal wel <laughs> welfare, <laughs> and um, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure we, like our monkeys are pretty happy, you know. So, are they though? Remember this? Musk's Neuralink faces federal inquiry after killing 1,500 animals in testing. Brain implant company accused of causing needless suffering and deaths amid pressure from CEO. But don't worry about that because this CEO is cool and hip and trendy so you can trust him. He says initial users will be those who have lost use of their limbs. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That is the goal. I'm pretty sure if Stephen Hawking had this technology, he'd be using it for virtual orgies on an AI Epstein island. The first Neuralink product is called Telepathy. Enables control of your phone or computer and through them almost any device just by thinking. Sounds pretty groundbreaking, right? Well, did you know that none of this is new? In fact, the US military has been working on this technology since the 1960s. So watch this clip from the 60s where they show how they put a, a chip in the brain of a bull and a cat. With the bull, they were able to stop its aggression at the push of a button. And with the cat, they were able to make it aggressive at the push of a button. In the 1960s, Professor Jose Delgado 
took a normally hostile bull and implanted electrodes into its brain. Electrodes that could be activated by a radio transmitter. His objective was to see if stimulation of the bull's midbrain could short circuit the rage signals, stopping the bull before it reached the matador. After the bull had recovered from the implantation and in mid charge, the button was pressed. The bull's aggression ceased instantly. A clearer experiment was performed with cats. In this classic example, the hypothalamus, the rhythm maker, was implanted with electrodes. Could it be responsible not just for rhythms, but also for rage? The switch is turned. Then the switch is turned off. So indeed, the hypothalamus does control certain types of aggression. Fast forward 60 years now, and you don't think the US military has made any advancements? AI brain implants that can change a person's mood are tested on humans by the US military. The US military has begun testing AI brain implants that can change a person's mood on humans. These mind control chips emit electronic pulses that alter brain chemistry in a process called deep brain stimulation. If they prove successful, the devices could be used to treat a number of mental health conditions and to ensure a better response to therapy. The chips are the work of scientists at the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, a branch of the US Department of Defense which develops new technologies for the military. Researchers from the University of California and Massachusetts General Hospital designed them to use artificial intelligence algorithms that detect patterns of activity associated with mood disorders. Once detected, they can shock a patient's brain back into a healthy state automatically. Did you know the United Nations has warned about this being used as a weapon as well? I reported on this last year. Neurosurveillance and personality altering weapons is the next step in transhumanism. A United Nations panel has warned that brain chip technology being pioneered by Elon Musk's Neuralink could be abused for neurosurveillance violating mental privacy, or even to implement forms of forced re-education, threatening human rights worldwide. The FDA has approved the human study of brain implants, and the US military has already begun testing AI brain implants on human soldiers. In this video, Dan Dix of Press for Truth looks at the current and latest major steps towards transhumanism that is being sold on convenience and health, but in reality, it's looking more and more likely to evolve into an Orwellian nightmare of control by the powers that ought not be. And here we are, folks, now entering into an era of cyborgs where man and machine are merged. But guess what, folks? At this stage in the game, you don't have to get the implant. In fact, it's probably going to be quite some time until that is forced upon society. And that day will come. So in the meantime, we need to move in the opposite direction entirely and start living much like our grandparents did long before the internet. So if you've never done this before, I'd encourage you to try doing a three day electronic detox where you have zero exposure to any screens or any electronics of any kind whatsoever. I like to do this every three months or so. This may require going to like a remote campsite that is out of Wi-Fi reach. But you give this a try, and I guarantee you, my friends, you will thank me for it. So, let me know what you guys think about this brain chip that is just being implanted into human beings from Neuralink. Do you see this heading towards a future of transhumanism like I do? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And if you do appreciate my efforts to bring you this information, please check that top link in the description below to where you can support my efforts financially at pressfortruth.ca slash donate. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to click that thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and family who you think need to see it the most, and stay tuned. We're gonna have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press For Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.